10 facts about Rob Moore you didn't know. Mr. Rob, Moore. Rob Moore is a UK entrepreneur. He is the co-founder of Progressive Property and has been in business for almost 15 years. He made his millions investing in property, set up the UK's largest property training company and produces one of the most popular business podcasts in the UK. In this video, we're going to show you the top 10 facts you didn't know about Rob Moore. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Number one, he has a BA Honours degree in architecture. Rob attended the University of Huddersfield to study architecture, but to date has never used it despite co-owning and managing hundreds of properties. Rob has commented before that university just wasn't right for him, but he stayed to finish the degree even though he wouldn't pursue a career in architecture. After university, he completely changed direction and pursued a career as an artist. Based on the art he created, it's up to you to decide if it was a smart move or not. A few years after leaving university, he met Mark Homer, and the rest is history. Mike, the gallery owner of my art, pretty much forced me to come to a property event. And I went and networked at the end at the bar afterwards. Sat at the bar and there's this guy at the bar and the silence was so awkward in the end, I just said, do you want a drink? And he went, don't come. Um, and I bought him the drink and he went, thanks. And I thought, you're a bit of a grumpy. And that turns out that that was Mark Homer. Oh, okay. Number two, he's broken three longest speech marathon world records. Rob is someone who doesn't shy from going for big achievements. Rob has not one, not two, but three world records under his belt. His world record titles are for longest public speeches. Rob gave a 46 hour and 39 minute speech on business advice and broke the Guinness World Record for the longest speech marathon in April 2014. Rob also broke the team speech world record on the 5th of August 2015. He was partnered by Progressive Property co-founder Mark Homer. Between the 29th of July and the 3rd of August 2016, Rob once again broke the team speech world record. This speech raised over £150,000 for the Sue Ryder Thorpe Hall Hospice. Will Rob try and beat his records again? We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, we've just finished and I feel really great. I do feel quite tired, but um, to raise the uh, £25,000 for a uh, great charity for Sue Ryder Thorpe I, I feel like it's been really worth it. Number three. He's authored and co-authored 15 books. Rob has always been someone who delivers a vast amount of content from his events, videos, podcasts, and books. His first book, which he co-wrote with business partner Mark Homer, Make Cash in a Property Market Crash, came out in 2007. Since then, Rob has produced almost a new book every single year. After the success of his first book, Rob has gone on to write some very successful business books with the likes of Life Leverage, Money, Start Now, Get Perfect Later, Routine Equals Results, and I'm Worth More. Make sure to keep an eye out because Rob will be writing more bestsellers in the future. I'm sure of it. Number four. South Korea is one of the biggest markets for his books. His book Money, which came out in 2017, was translated into Korean. After that, his following in South Korea absolutely exploded. Number five. He won the Face of Peterborough modelling competition in 1999. This might be the oddest fact on the list. He won the very prestigious Face of Peterborough modelling competition. You'd have to ask him whether he's proud of it or not. If you ever get the chance, let us know the answer in the comments below. Number six, Rob has co-purchased hundreds of properties. He is known for making his millions in property. Rob started with no money of his own and no property and grew to own hundreds of properties in Peterborough and the surrounding areas. In recent years, barely any of his time is spent working directly on these original properties, having hired a team to take over these responsibilities. Instead, he uses his time to grow his podcast, his other business ventures, and includes the educational arm of Progressive Property. Progressive has grown to be the largest property educational company in the UK, offering its students the very best in their property investing journeys. This doesn't mean he's content to sit on the sidelines and watch other people invest in property. Still, to this day, he works with Mark on massive commercial conversion deals. Number seven, he's nearly died, twice. As a youngster, Rob had a serious motorcycle accident, aged 17. He admitted that when he was younger, he did some really stupid things, as all kids do. Rob was involved in a motorcycle accident after riding like a twat, his words. Fortunately, he made a full recovery. He loves his fast cars, but doesn't ride motorcycles anymore. 
When Rob was 18, he contracted peritonitis, but again made a full recovery. It seems whatever life throws at the disruptive entrepreneur, nothing will stop him. Number eight, Rob mentors many successful business owners, celebrities, and has trained much of the UK property training competition. He has been in business for almost 15 years. In that time, Rob has met, worked, and trained many people. Rob met Strictly Come Dancing star, Kevin Clifton, through his podcast, The Disruptive Entrepreneur. Kevin is a fan of the podcast and they have been good friends ever since. He also is very good friends with EastEnders' Jake Wood. Both Jake and Rob have been on each other's podcasts. What do you think it takes to be one of the best actors in TV? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask David Jason. Yeah. Or, they, or someone you've seen. Number nine. He crashed a five-day-old Ferrari into the News International building. Rob has had an eclectic range of cars, from a Ferrari Testarossa, a Nissan GTR, Lamborghini Aventador, Audi RS6, Porsche Panamera, and many more. He bought a 458 Ferrari Spider, costing him over £170,000, and crashed it a mere five days later. Of all the places he crashed it, he crashed it into the News International building in Peterborough, housing The Sun newspaper. The crash ranks on the world's most expensive crashes list. Rob ended up all over the newspapers. Rob maintains there was a fault with the car and it was not driver error. Oh well, you know what they say, any publicity is good publicity, right? And finally, number 10. He has a foundation to help startups and underprivileged entrepreneurs. Rob is someone who wants to give back to his community. He came from humble beginnings and feels compelled to give back. He's raised hundreds of thousands for charity over the years. Rob has set up his own foundation so he can help as many people as he can. So there you go. That was the top 10 facts about Rob Moore you didn't know. If you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe and comment below and tell us what you'd like to see next.